Today, he's making his Carnegie Hall debut. Dima, will you please stand? Each one of the teenage musicians of the New York Youth Symphony is super talented and special, but perhaps right now, no one more so than Dmitry Titian. The 16 year old fled war torn Ukraine with his mother and just a backpack and his father's bassoon and made his way to this country to be safe and play in this orchestra. I'm really glad to be here. It's um, I'm really excited because this is like the probably the best youth orchestra in the in the world. Well, Dima is a wonderful, wonderful bassoonist, and when the family contacted us in the spring to say they were trying to get him over here, we tried to help. We did our best. Unfortunately, his visa was still um, passed over, but when the Biden administration changed uh, the policies, he was here within two days, and we were so excited. Before the concert, Dima, as he's called, warmed up with a Vivaldi concerto on his father's bassoon. His father is a professional bassoonist back in their homeland. Dima says as he plays, he is always worrying about the safety of his parents. His mother had to return to Ukraine, and his older brother, a 21-year-old percussionist, still in their hometown of Dnipro. Ukraine prohibits men age 18 to 60 from leaving the country. Just last week, Dima says his grandmother found rocket fragments in her backyard. I'm thinking about them all the time and I um, I talk to them a lot, but it's like not enough. I still miss them. <laughs> In honor of Dima joining their orchestra, the New York Youth Symphony played the Ukrainian national anthem to open the second half of this program here in Carnegie Hall. There were tears, a standing ovation, applause, and so much emotion.